For this video, we're actually going to hop away from the transaction for just a moment because I want to talk a little bit more about these fields, what you can do with them, getting rid of the ones you don't need permanently, or adding in ones that are missing any that you don't have available yet. So let's go ahead and close this out. And we're going to go to our hammer icon and go to the field editor. It helps if you click the button. Alrighty, this is going to be the field editor where you can do pretty much everything you need to do with your fields. You'll notice we have the different field groups. If we're looking at the transaction, it's reflecting these four different groups. This will be the detail panel we're looking at here. We have our property detail section, transaction details, and so on. And then it'll be the same for dates, loans, etc. Let's go back to our details here. Now looking at the property details, there's a few different things we could do. We can add whole new field groups, which would be one of these here. Sort the groups into whatever order we'd like. Add sections within one of these groups. So for example, if I was adding a section, it would be like the property details underneath the detail section. And then taking it all the way down to the field itself, you'll put fields within these different sections, which will be the contract status, client, uh, cl contract client type, if I could speak, <laughs> address, date, cities, etc. Now this icon here will be pretty important because this will enable you to either show or hide these different fields in the portal user view. So the client portal users or your agent portal users. If I were to click into one of these, say the, well, let's use the contract client type. This is one of the required fields. So you won't be able to delete this, but you can make some modifications. Maybe there were some sort of client type that I actually need that wasn't here. We have buyer, seller, and dual. So if there's something else you need to plug in, all you do is go here and add that in, and you'll have a new option for the client type. Over here, just gives you a little bit of details about what was set up, and we're going to take a look at this as we actually create a field. So now let's go down a little bit further. It's one of these smaller ones. Let's, let's use this one just so we can see it really easily. Let's go ahead and add a field. It's going to pop us back up, but then I can give it a name. So it's going to be underneath the referral details section. What do I want to call the field? And this could be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to just call this my referral. Uh, test field, just so I know which one it was. For the merge field section here, this is will be useful for email templates and things like that. What we usually do is just copy this and paste it right here into the merge field. You'll see it actually converts it into the merge field format for you. Then you can place uh, some sort of ghost text or placeholder text. It's going to look exactly like this, kind of a grayed out text to give maybe a hint or some idea of this is something like what should be in the spot. It's not actually an answer or anything like that. It's just giving somebody an idea, completely optional. Now, the most important part here, because you cannot change this once you create the field, is the field type. So if you accidentally click the wrong option, you're going to have to delete that and then just recreate the field. So the options we have would be text. So just a little quick small text box, a text area, a bit bigger. You actually have like almost a little paragraph section for the text. Decimals, so currency or percentages, a date field, a number field, and a multiple choice field. So yes, no, maybe, you know, something like that. Or the client uh, contract client type would be a good example. That's a choice that they can make, buyer, seller, or dual. And then once you're ready, oh, let me go, let me go ahead and actually collect, uh, select one here. Let's say this is a choice field, multiple select options. No, I just want them to choose one option here. Gives you a quick sample of what that might look like. And then you can add the field. Now that it's been created, I can actually plug in the options that I want. Yes, no, and maybe, because why not? I don't think we ever want to use the word maybe for an agent intake form or field uh, that we're going to be using, but eh, maybe there's an edge case. And then once you're set up here, this field is ready to use. So let me go ahead and pop back into a transaction real quick here. Obviously, it's not available yet because I just created it created that new field and I already created this transaction. So you, if you do create a new field, just remember you're gonna have to come in here, go to manage fields, go down to that spot. And I see I have my new field, click it. I'm gonna add it in and there we go. It is now ready for use. And then from here, we'll go ahead and hop into some of these different sections for managing the transaction. 